Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign. It is episode 50 if my memory serves me well. So half a century worth of episodes in this crazy, crazy run where we're trying to survive as long as possible in a modded version of Legendary Iron Man. Double enemy, squad size, hundreds of different new enemies and most importantly, uh, yellow alert to just make it more and more difficult it is time for operation rebel wolf ladies and gentlemen where we are going to uh, fight a difficult but not like super difficult mission which means a chance for our quote-unquote rookies the sergeants that we are training to actually do the mission then right afterwards scan uh, for another guerrilla ops mission and then essentially do them so just like i mentioned it in the end of the last uh, video we're going to go in with shadow who's leading the team i have almost no concerns that uh, they would survive um therefore if uh, if things are going really bad we're just going to pull her out and uh, that is that the rest has all disposable gear cheap weapons just normal equipment i put the rest suit here on haywire just in case so that would be one exception and maybe you could argue that the armor penetrating rounds we don't want to lose them we do have two uh, pairs of them but we certainly do not want to lose them rather give them dragon rounds uh, which are less valuable in my personal opinion with all of uh, the armor going on so and then we got the worst deployable turret which by the way was a fantastic item i i still rate it quite highly but with uh, the ball sack towers as i uh, call them the celloid uh, towers that can move and shoot twice that's just straight up better so this uh, this tower here is in so far disposable i put it on inquisitor um, to to work with uh, with us in this mission so what we need to do is hack the hidden resistance computer got quite a bit of time for that and we also got um, a shinrod uh, a specialist who could theoretically hack it from afar of course we're fighting against quite a few uh, human uh, humanoid kind of biological enemies so that can be a problem we're going to see how it turns out but overall i haven't seen anything like super crazy so far one hidden unknown enemy though and that could uh, throw us off so it might be the um, the viper king which would be quite funny if these guys here would actually kill the viper king good we are landing again as always everybody just jumps out of the sky ranger here we are gotta download these also important pieces of data and we did not get a double agent yet pretty straightforward i like my decision with the uh, grappling suit but you can also see that on the newer maps on the newer tile systems you can actually take that high ground with other means we do have a clear scout and you know i mean mm, mm. might as well remote start i guess Enjoy the show. archon prime all right fantastic these guys don't yet know that we're here I mean, look, we could get up here, being a bit of a problem though. The Archon does not react well to just normal small attacks. We gotta hit him hard, like really hard. Uh, but we're still, we're still in concealment, so might as well use that to our advantage, shall we? Uh, bubble here.
will go upstairs together with Hayward, who, funnily enough, is just taking this point position. We're taking an aggressive move from the get-go. Double-checking what our chances with the drone would look like. Eh, not really good, so we're not going to take that. I'm wondering if Shinrod might also want to get up here. I think that's not a bad idea. There is the second pack. Okay, good to know. Funnily enough, we do have two grappling um, suits, so Inquisitor can easily get up there. I think we're fine. Now, as for the others, we've already seen that these guys are over here. I think we're we're just going to move as a pack on the right hand side, keep the right hand side clear, and then we should be okay. For now, we're overwatching. We're sh we should be fine. Like I said, we're in concealment at this point. So naturally these guys will flock up, not knowing what has hit them. <laughs> oh shit, the hunter drone, I forgot about them. Yeah, the hunter drone might be a problem. That entire pack is already triggered, so far we're fine. No Chosen can come. Oh, look at that. Another pack. Good. Shadow does exactly what Shadow is supposed to do. Can we hit the other car as well? I think the answer is no. Well, the answer is it depends, sort of. What I will do is, there is another pack right in there. What I will do is, I will make their life a living hell. Uh, can't uh, proceed forward, not with the drone there. Now our chances to get it down was unfortunately not really good. What's our chance with hacking here? Crit chance and alert. I like the crit chance. We might even get that. So the idea was we do have a mine here. Exploding it with another grenade from the grenade launcher would be fantastic. Because it would still get all of those guys. Unfortunately, that's not really how it is going to work. So, as much as it pains me, we're likely going to just need to accept that... ...that we're going to reveal ourselves. That means one of uh, the other pods will move uh, away from, uh, from one another. Yep, there we go. Some will stay, some will come a bit closer. Okay, cool.
<laughs> we could oh i can oh i can already see that this is going to be fun so as i was saying earlier we couldn't fully reach this half cover is not perfect just want to admit that This, however, should explode the car, double explosion, and get rid of almost all of uh, the guys. The one pack should be nearly completely wiped out in the sector. Severely injured. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yep, well, that's uh, the beauty of a Prime, I guess. Not dealing with a Prime right away. General here is in a bit of a tough spot. Um... How are we going to go about it? No run gun yet. <sighs> we move over here that the shotgun shot is still too far away. We need to get closer in. And of course, perfect way would have been to not get knocked down, right? Want to use the explosion here to get rid of that part. The car would explode, the Vanguard would take damage. Shinrod potentially just really needs to get further back. Not a perfect position, but he needs to heal himself. What are our chances? Uh, it's a bit of a waste for such a high power weapon like the shotgun, but um, the action economy demands we needed to get Shinrod ba uh, out of uh, out of uh, the firing line, and with 40% on each of the shots, this here is actually the best that we can do. That's an explosion into an almost car explosion. Good. Next up, combat presence. We want. Oh, we can't. Oh, wow, well, we can't see. Bubble. That is unfortunate because another grenade would have really made a difference here. Six points of damage. That would be a kill. Let's start with softening these guys up. That was an advanced stock in case you were wondering. 8 to 10, well, that still needs to deal maximum damage. Hmm, now we're going to pull him up. I think that's not a good idea. Good, so sector it is down. This here is a solid first setup. 
and in terms of just getting a tower I like the high ground idea problem is with all of that fire going I, that might be a dangerous idea to place the turret somewhere here specifically if we see another explosion downstairs which is going to happen make no mistake the other option is simply putting it here, kind of in the open, or further to the front, but we know there's a third pack here. I like the high ground idea, but uh, there are really limited chances to make that work. Let me think. With a little bit more damage. I would be fine with that. I mean, it's 8 to 10. Still haven't really upgraded that sniper. That would happen next month. I hate to do it, uh, that might mean that the tower is going to die. But these options here are too good to pass by. Okay, wow, that's a lot of damage. Oh, he dodged that one. 90% shot and he dodged. Thank you. Good, well... Look, at least the turret... Um, tanked uh, the Archon is what I was about to say but apparently he's completely immune to fire or at least the fire is not dealing any damage which is disappointing to see I was hoping for much much more but the explosion will take the shields away and Bubble definitely needs some help. Okay, cool. So, first things first. Gremlin heal. Getting Bubble back in shape. Good, there should be a kill. Oh, come on. Another dodge, and he will get another reflex. Oh, oh boy. That sucks big time, says we might need to evac Bubble next turn. Certainly need to get him into a better position. Hate to waste our sniper shot here with death from above. How many is that now? 
Luckily we get sort of compensated with a hair trigger. Can we hit both of them? The answer is uh, no. Or I try to explode all of uh, their their positions. Thinking about how we can deal the most damage here. Can we use a grenade? Yes, we can. So something along the lines so this here would be possible say if we placed another claymore right over here then the follow-up ooh predatorian that's a new guy looks interesting we will get to you in a second dear predatorian Moving into full cover with Lyrical. Look, I mean, that's the best shot that we can take. Might as well do that. 17, that's great. Fantastic, to be precise. So 8 plus the grenade uh, would be enough to kill him. This guy has 9 hit points. Yeah, not enough. Mm -mm. Not enough. Okay, so what's a lo logical thing to do? Force going for cover but we're playing a risky game here let's full cover but it is not looking great this here would hit both but not kill and there is no way I can get both in there so who's the bigger threat the sector that can and will automatically use its stupid attack can't do a 50 50 we will need to use explosions i could use banish but i don't want to put the life of shadow on the line of bubble dies it sucks i wouldn't want to do that but we need to uh, think rationally about it sector it needs to die because of uh, the massive extra damage that he can dish out and this here is double explosion into kill into at least shredding not great but okay maybe the purge uh, vanguard will withdraw because he's the last man standing typically then they go to another pack or the praetorian just simply comes and helps him that's also an option no there's another pack back here elsewise he wouldn't go there bubble continues being poisoned moving up to increase our hit chance 39% look at that defense and high cover well you got a good defense going for you son that is undeniable
Good. Thanks to the grapple hook. Taking an aggressive position in the front. Our fire uh, shots will not really do much. Can get to the front ish over here. Gotta be careful though. Do we have holo targeting? Yes, we do. But yet again, we gotta be careful. Bubble needs to stay back. Can't really risk that. We need to hit a couple of these shots now. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But luckily it does. Nice free hair trigger. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, I will reload, although that might be an unpopular opinion, but I'm thinking about the next turn and not just this turn. You can't handle me. Yeah. Moving into full cover with Lyrico. Like I said, bubble. Very careful. Still poisoned, so this is going to suck. Carefully hunkering down to be the least available target. I will go. The objective is inside, Commander. Okay, next turn where we can open. Putting ourselves further to the front. Not a bad approach for now. Moving in. And do we have an auto loader? Yes, we do. So Overwatch, not going to move here with Shinrod. It's a decent chance to maybe get the hack for extra crit. I wish he already had more healing power. Enemy group be alert to position. Yeah, we can live with that. Okay, cool. Crit chance increase isn't bad, specifically since he can overwatch with crits, uh, thanks uh, to being a specialist. And those Praetorians look not that dangerous. I will say it again. The AI is uh, with all of the mods that we have installed. I don't know which mod it is, but I think it is yellow alert. The AI starts to become stupid. No reason for him to run over that table. Like he could have moved here or there, anywhere. Just not only run over the table, but effectively get very close. Poison is still going, so one more round at least. Good. Going down here. With Inquisitor. Not sure what these things are doing. Maybe they are really dangerous. Maybe they are exploding. That's the beauty of not reading the mods in advance. You will always have the chance of being pleasantly surprised. Well, maybe they just crumble on in the earth and die like a little bitch. That is, of course, also a possibility. Double time. Careful, I'm staying out of vision here because he, uh, the purifier ran into that direction, which gives me all of the suspicion that I need that there might be another pack. Overwatch here and 
bubble double moves if we can't stop the poison next turn we're definitely going to evac Yeah, poison is now stopped. Down to one hit point. Great. Great. Alright, hacking the workstation should do the trick. Reduce attack. Income. I like the income option. But I also like the tech, but we're almost done with the vector rifle, so might as well go for the income and see if the tech wouldn't have worked. Permanent income, very important. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Good. And I do have an idea where those hostiles might be. Shadow is going to be our eyes and ears in this particular case. Free reload, Overwatch, Reload, Overwatch, and Overwatch. Bubble certainly also overwatches. I'm pretty sure it's they come from yeah. Sector point prime was not on the list. Oh, I should have thought about that. Nasty, nasty, nasty sector point prime. Okay, now we're we might see dead people. Oh boy, that's not good at all. Lucky us, I suppose. Okay, that's that's really bad. I guess we can't just shut him down. He has taken one shot. Yeah, 30%. That's not going to happen. He has taken one shot. Moving into full cover. And eight protocoling that not ourselves, but bubble. Should have loaded. Should have loaded our um ammunition in here our blue screen rounds well hindsight is 2020 i guess can shred him though Visitor has enough hit points to take a shot. But I think the main target for the sector port should be Lyrical. So I need a half cover position. Fortunately, I only got full cover against him. She has the most hit points, so it is 
just consequent to put her into that position. Full cover for Hayward. Lyrica can take two hits, three even. Doesn't have Bladestorm, but yeah, we also got half cover up here, that's not good. Not really a decent alternative with that weapon against the sector pot. Don't want to move him either. Can move him in a second. First we gotta figure that out. Half cover, not no cover. Second, so half cover. He can move, so that's a problem. No, we, we literally have no half cover somewhere. Um, protect high cover to adjacent units and receive on 20% uh, until next turn. You know what? Maybe this is the half cover we are looking for. I'm trying to trick the AI into shooting Lyrico. Inquisitor is the other good option. This year, clearly, Bubble is the least preferable option. He has four shots. One is already gone, so three more shots. If we can make that work for us, that would be fantastic. This here is great damage. Everybody is in full cover, right? Right? Right. Okay. Half cover here for Lurico. She's going to be the bait. Haywire is a one shot. No point in doing anything but hunkering down. I already mentioned we would get into full cover, so now we do have a setup that works, and let's see how this is going to play out. Nice little shredding. Sectorport is definitely, definitely injured. Annihilation protocol moves up to Lyrical. We're down to 22 hit points. Okay, cool. Maybe, just maybe, he doesn't have any more actions, uh, any more uh, shots. Maybe he's already out. All right, I correct. I correct that thesis immediately. It was a shitty thesis, and we're banishing. It's only three hits, but it should be enough to get it down. Four hits, right? Oh, to one hit point. All right. Well, we 
mean, overall, it could have been worse. It, it really could have been. It's actually a super close mission, all things considered. Alright. Getting that Viper away. Very good. Lyrico definitely needs to kind of get the fuck out of here. Move into here. This could be a kill. Oh, thank you. Six uh, thick scales prevents that from happening. Bubble moves up. That should take good care of the drone. Oh boy, that's a mission that you, uh, that we want to to see. Hard, well fought combats with quite a few risk of people actually dying. We're done, right? We're done. We're done. There is not another enemy. Okay, cool. That little sneaky sector put prime gets me all the time. Every single time I think like, you know what? That looks too easy. That looks way too easy. Only 15 enemies there. Not a problem. And then he charges in, gets hit quite a few times and immediately retaliates, almost killing us. The only saving grace uh, which we had was uh, that nice little chain shot with uh, blue screen rounds and uh, lots and lots of shredding, which got him immediately down to, I think, 20-ish hit points. And then Banish was definitely the right choice, getting him down just far enough and eventually killing it. It seems that they have fixed the ruler reactions uh, because he only got one reaction from the chain shot. So what ABA originally did uh, before this version of ABA was uh, multiple shots have also triggered multiple reactions, which was quite quite a stupid um, idea. I think it is the multi-shot uh, fix that I have installed, which, uh, which basically removes the limitations of those multi-shots, i.e. Um, the false coding that was in the game uh, for uh, for rapid shot and for chain shot that it doesn't work uh, with death from above that has been removed and apparently it has been uh, set so that the rapid shot and chain shot ability actually are just one shot and therefore also only trigger one activity and not five or six wow what a mission that was enjoyable. I like it. Got a sectopod. Nice little sectopod prime. Sectopod breakdown. And we countered Viper rounds. Hell yeah. So one more day and then we would, the moment that Murphy is ready, we're essentially going back to back into the next mission yeah there is a soldier bond upgrade but that's not available at this point also no one got a promotion much to my dismay i think we've really done a nice little job there not sure why we wouldn't be allowed a promotion good inappropriate murphy needs to finish being tired 
he of course stayed up all night watching Netflix in the sick bay, keeping everybody else also quite busy, which yet in a return led to more complaints about inappropriate Murphy, even when he was on the sick bay. Good, so three more days. I think we should be good. Let's see. The most inappropriate of Murphys is ready, which means we are going to go for round number two. It's going to be an interesting month. Always be really careful what you want to do with the Guerrilla Ops. You can also save that uh, so it will not decay immediately. So you can effectively uh, save that. And we just got Vector Rifles plus one damage, which for Banish would have been a huge, uh, a huge difference maker. Got inspired with the Hive Warrior, but that's not what we want to do. The Warlock weapon definitely for five days looks tasty. Very, very tasty. Uh, and we have an Archon. We got an Archon, which brings us to Plasma Lands. So, yeah, I suppose we're going Archon into Plasma Lands. Just because we really want that Sniper upgrade. And then we got the Warlock weapon. And I'm still not showing you new stuff. Uh, I'm sorry, but we need that equipment. By the way, we got finally got uh, the training done. Aviator is with us. Damn, he looks dope. Ready as always. He's one of our new player uh, viewer characters. So welcome to the team, Aviator. Uh, let's hope you're going to make good first impression. We're promoting him to definitely take Shredder. And Demolition. He is gifted with Combat Intelligence, which also gave him 10 AP. And that in return lets me think that he might have an ability that we want to train. There we go. Uh, Dead Eye not so good, but blast petting. Well, Dead Eye is good. I'm. I might be exaggerating, but survivability for the newcomers is key. So let's take a look at our kind of low-level group here. We would have two snipers, so we don't need one more. We only got Shinrod uh, with the specialist. Um, our other two specialists are on the way uh, of graduating. Got another ranger here. You know what? I think next one is a specialist and the next one afterwards is a ranger. So there we go. Um... Shiming Xu is going to go for a specialist education. Like it. And here we go, Guerrilla Ops. We got one target and one target only. <laughs> oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? Oh wow. Oh, okay, this, this is going to be massive. 35 enemies for starters. Rift Keeper, Vanitor is I think the biggest Viper. Archon Sentinel, these are the shooting Archons. Codex. Um, what are these high trips? We're going to read through the list in a second. Cult of Jiraiya is operating here. Cult of Jiraiya, we haven't fought against these guys yet. Is that a new faction? If so. What can these guys do? Then Advent groups are greatly increased in size. Well, fantastic. And Psionic hunting squads have been also plotted here. I think I've just shot myself in the in the knee. 
To quote Skyrim, I used to be an adventurer before I got an arrow to the knee. So, Riftkeeper Mark II, that is horrible. Venator, uh, these were the really, really tough uh, snakes. They were bad as well. Mutant Commando, they were bad as well. Elite Purifier, that's okay. Archon Sentinel, those were the Overwatch, do uh, Overwatch dudes that are difficult to hit. I know them from ABA. Elite Trooper, Elite Collector Assassin. Spectres, ah, uh, nasty. Armored Psy Viper, we... Okay, that does not sound pleasant. Viper already is, is a nasty enemy f uh, with a tongue lash. But an Armored Viper is even worse, and an Armored Psy Viper sounds like no fun at all. Like they got everything going for them. Elite Collector Drone Brute. The Brutes are easy. Codex should be fine. Advent Exalted Purge Archbishop. That sounds like a unit that I really do not want to uh, visit. An Archbishop is... that's a priest, and it's not only one it is an exalted uh, version and it's the purge version so that is fire damage and a lot of fire immunity sorry for that um elite pu uh, purge heavy elite purge mech biosol trooper elite lancer and some good old advent sparks well what is this is not going to be fun <laughs> we need to sabotage the transmitter <laughs> As we potentially need to take Shadow on that mission just for the simple fact that the timer will not be enough. This is going to be a slugfest. Alright, anyways. If you are as overwhelmed as I am with 35 enemies plus another faction that will just uh, be brutal on top of uh, everything else, then I need a few reinforcements here. And the way to call reinforcements from the Sky Ranger is by the thumbs up like button. I promise you uh, that is uh, really how it works so hit that uh, bad boy and see if we can pull it off in the next mission if you are looking forward for that as much as i do tune in in two days see you soon guys and have a good day bye bye